Well, happy Wednesday morning to you, HG students. It's good to be back with you as we look at the Word together. Uh, obviously, we are looking at Colossians chapter 3 this morning. And uh, Colossians 3 is really a, a cool passage to look at and study. Uh, as you've been able to spend some time already uh, in your quiet time, you've already seen some of that. Um, but Colossians 3 is really, really practical. Uh, you've got Colossians 1 and Colossians 2, where Paul is uh, really sort of building up this defense against all of this false teaching that he's fighting up against. And uh, he's pointing to how Christ is better than false teaching. Uh, but here in Colossians 3, he begins to, uh, to give descriptions of what the life of a believer should look like. And so for, for you and I, uh, for high school, middle school students living in 2020, this is really, really practical. Uh, to give you an illustration, it's almost like this. Um, I'm sure that some of you guys have been in this position uh, uh, over the quarantine period where you've probably put together a puzzle, right? You've spent some time uh, with the family putting together a puzzle. Uh, when you're putting together a puzzle, it's so much easier if you have the box to look at to see what the picture is going to be. Um, then it just makes it so much easier to put together. Uh, imagine putting a puzzle together without being able to look at the box. Now, there are some people that probably could do that, but Knowing what the image will look like helps you accomplish the task that you are uh, set to do. And so when we look at Colossians 3, what Paul does is that he really lists uh, what the life of a believer should look like. He answers one of the questions that you and I typically often ask ourselves is really, what, what does God desire of me? Like, what kind of life uh, is a life that's fully pleasing to God? It's a, it, it's a question that I've asked, a question that I'm sure that you've asked too. And here in Colossians chapter 3, he answers that question for us. Uh, if you look at verse 5, uh, there's a list of things that believers are supposed to put off. It's almost like they're changing dirty clothes and putting on new clothes, right? They're putting off uh, the old flesh, which is uh, full of sinfulness, and they're putting on uh, the righteousness of Christ. And if you look at verse 12, you see clearly what that is that they are to put on. And he says here, put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another. And if anyone has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. And above all, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And he continues further talking about what the life of a believer should look like. So this morning, as you reflect even a little bit more on Colossians chapter 3, be encouraged by the fact that God has not called us to live this life in the dark, but he's clearly shown us a life that is fully pleasing to him, a life that's separate from sin and a life that is obedient, uh, putting on the righteousness of Christ. But also stand encouraged in this as well, uh, knowing that this is not something that you have to do by yourself. The beginning of the chapter gives you such encouragement as you look at the first two verses. It says, if then you've been raised with Christ, then do these things. So the hope that we have in putting on this new nature is the fact that we've been brought into this relationship with God through the gospel of Jesus, that our old self has been put to death, and that new life has been given through Christ and through Christ alone. So as you put the old self to death and as the new life of Christ is raised up in you, know that you don't have to do it alone. You've got the gospel working in you and for you. Guys, I hope you uh, are encouraged by Colossians chapter 3, and I hope it pushes you guys to love Christ and share his gospel more. Hope you enjoy this morning together.